Hello everybody, I'm Alicia Nodderman, author of the book, Don't Be a Stranger, right over my shoulder, and also consultant with Rodan and Field Skin Care. And as you know, I love to use this platform as a space to be able to share resources, tips, tricks, and readings for personal and professional development. Whether you're wanting to change from the inside out or the outside in, please don't ever hesitate to contact me and I would love to be a part of your journey. That said, today I'll be reading from the book Language of Letting Go by Melody Beatty. This is one of my favorite, favorite resources to keep around. Love starting my day with this book. In fact, this is a book that has actually brought me and my mother so much closer this year because we share the affirmations every day with one another and we talk about how we apply it in our lives. So the reading from December 7th was super moving and I feel like a lot of people could really benefit from hearing this. Um, especially if you're in a place of needing to make a difficult decision, potentially regarding the continuation of a relationship. So I thought I would share it here in case it could help someone else as well. So when the time is right, December 7th, there are times when we simply do not know what to do or where to go next. Sometimes these periods are brief and sometimes lingering. We can get through these times. We can rely on our program and for and the disciplines of recovery. We can cope by using our faith, other people, and our resources. Accept uncertainty. We do not always have to know what to do or where to go next. We do not always have clear direction. Refusing to accept the inaction and limbo makes things worse. It's okay to be temporarily without direction. Say I don't know and be comfortable with that. We do not have to try to force wisdom, knowledge, or clarity when there is none. While waiting for direction, we do not have to put our life on hold. Let go of anxiety and enjoy life. Relax, do something fun. Enjoy the love and the beauty in your life. Accomplish small tasks. They may have nothing to do with solving the problem or finding the direction, but this is what we can do in the interim. Clarity will come. The next step will present itself. Indecision, inactivity, and lack of direction will not last forever. I always talk about that when I share with people about depression and anxiety and difficult emotions that we've never had a feeling that didn't go away. Every emotion is time limited and every feeling will come and it will pass and another feeling will replace it. And over time, there's an ebb and flow. And so just remember when you're suffering, you're struggling, you're in pain, this too shall pass. Tomorrow's a new day and eventually this feeling will go away. So every day, every affirmation ends with a prayer and I love it. It's like a commitment and an affirmation for the day. Today, I will accept my circumstances even if I lack direction and insight. I will remember to do things that make myself and others feel good during those times. I will trust that clarity will come of its own accord. Hope everybody has a safe and wonderful new year. Thank you for being a part of my world. Thank you for watching this channel and I wish you well.